How is everyone doing today? Now, who out there knows anything about emotional self-care, right? So, you know, you got your emotions on one side, you got self-care on the other. So I want to bring all of this together and deliver you with a couple of areas to look for when it comes to giving yourself self-care in the area of your emotional needs, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to list off different activities that you can do. And some of these you could do right now. You could pause this video and jump into an ASAP. The importance, right, the importance of us being able to engage in emotional self-care is to allow us to feel like we're thriving, to reduce fatigue, tiredness. You've probably had those days where you just felt really overwhelmed and, and stressed. You may, Maybe even you even had some muscle tension, like your shoulders, your back was aching, and you knew you hadn't done a big workout or anything like that. So you're like, well, shit, where's this, where's this pressure coming from? That pressure often comes from our lack, our struggle to not engage in emotional self-care. It's important for us to take care of ourselves. Super simple example. If you don't drink water, you get thirsty, right? So not taking care of yourself leads to some sort of side effect. Now, let's go into some strategies, some things that you could do. Um, I'm going to list these off. I got a sheet of paper here. So take notes if you need to. The first one is doing some sort of writing activity. Um, carry a journal with you, whether it's you know your phone and you've got a, a stylus or an Apple pen, or you've got a sheet of paper, or, uh, I mean a notebook, and then a pen. A journal can be whatever you want it to be. It can be a blank slate. You write about how you're feeling at the present moment, or it can have prompts up there. It could say you know red for not good, yellow for I'm doing neutral, green for it's an awesome day, and then you just color that in, and it gives you some sort of tracking system. It also allows you to get some of that stuff inside out. Um, and then again, overall, that, that allows us to engage in emotional self-care. Uh, the next one that we could do is we could smile more often. And if you watch these videos, I love saying that, you know, make sure that today you smile more often. And, and really, you know, it's getting like this and going. <laughs> and then I, I, I get cheesy for me. It, it, and I could tell that it works because while I'm smiling, like my eyes get watery and inside I'm like, this is silly. But think about that. Emotional self-care is you giving yourself some of those positive feelings, you know, happiness, maybe silly, maybe joy, right? Like a child plays outside with bubbles. You know, we're digging into that. And even as adults, who says we can't play with bubbles? So that's the next one. Play with things that are fun. You know, play with bubbles. I, I like doing something and reminds me of my childhood. I'll get outside and just look at clouds. If I'm jumping on a trampoline with the kids, we'll lay there and I'll look up and I'll say, oh, that cloud looks like a turtle. Or that one looks like, you know, Captain Hook, whatever it may be, it's, it'll, it allows like, it allows me to tap into creativity, but it also allows me to find joy in those small moments. The next one that you could do is allow yourself to cry. Sometimes we restrict ourselves from the tears coming out and we have a whole separate conversation on the importance of crying. But whenever you limit yourself from something, it builds up, right? And then when it builds up, we pop, blow up. And we see that in different ways. Maybe you found yourself in an experience of life where someone just really annoyed you over and over and over and then pop, right? You had a reaction. Crying is no different. We restrict these tears over and over and over. And then we get to a point where they come out in a different way. They can come out with physical aggression. They come out with verbal aggression. So why not just give ourselves that gift? Give ourselves that beautiful moment of being able to, whether it's behind closed doors or out in a public place, and allowing yourself to, to, to be you, to do you, and push that sense of vulnerability. Um, the next one I want to share with you uh, when it comes to emotional self-care is giving yourself accomplishments and praise as well as accepting them. A very simple example I like to give is if you're walking down the street, right, minding your own business, and some person comes up and goes, hey, I really love that sweater. In that moment, most people do one of two things. They disregard the comment. You know, they go, well, I don't even know that person. Why would they waste their time saying that to me? There's no way that that's even real or valid. They're just trying to, you know, fill me up or whatever, whatever it may be. They're just bullshitting me. Other person, right, Steve. Steve goes, well, thank you. I, I, and I, I took some time to put this sweater on. I feel good in the sweater. I appreciate that. Steve just drinks it up. He's like, a, he's like a sponge underwater, just sucking all of that up. So then we have a choice, my friend. We have a choice when it comes to emotional self-care. Which side do you pick? Do you go with A? Do you go with B? I think we should go with Steve. I think we should practice that. So maybe today as a little fun 
exploratory activity, give yourself the opportunity to move through life, walk through life, accepting all of these compliments, allowing yourself, uh, allowing yourself to say, I deserve that. I accept that compliment. Think about that. Play with it. And the very last one before you head off to do all the amazing things that you're doing is giving yourself space to express how you feel. Um, again, whether it's through journaling, through artwork, sitting down with a the therapist, sitting down with a clinician, sitting down with a best friend, with a parent, with someone close to you, being able to have space, in my opinion, at least once a day where you are just letting these things out, you're sharing how you feel. And again, there's different styles to do it. You can do it at the gym, hitting the boxing bag. You can do it at home with the best friend. You could do it with your therapist behind a closed door or through a virtual session like this. Any way that fits you overall, allowing you to express how you feel. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for giving yourself uh, the gift of time, the gift of self-care, the gift of you know being able to say, I want to get better each and every day. Uh, I really believe that if we grow and we, you know, and we try to overcome challenges, that that just projects into all those around us. And then we, we have a better community. You know, we have a community that's thriving, that's doing better, not just on a physical or economic level, but on a level of well-being, a level of wellness. As always, thank you for being here, sharing space with me. If you haven't done so already, subscribe, join our community here, share with any friend that you have that you think will benefit from this video or any video on the channel. Take care.